I T T T. If this, then that. If you are using Data Studio, then you should learn about the case function. Now, functions are a very important part within Google Data Studio to create calculated fields. And the case function is probably the most advanced, most useful, but also most powerful function you can learn. And it really works like if, this, then that. So I've asked Ahmad to come up with a little tutorial to explain the case function to us and how we can utilize it inside of our Data Studio dashboards. Now, we got lots to cover. So Ahmad, take it away. Thanks, Julian. This is Ahmed from SEOWOG. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use case when statement in Google Data Studio to create calculated fields. The case when statement is one of the most powerful formulas available in Google Data Studio, which you can use in many situations. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use it to build a table that shows traffic and conversions from Google Analytics by weekday versus weekend. And you know, that's not a dimension that is usually available in Google Analytics. This is a rather advanced feature of Google Data Studio, so I assume you already know the basics, like how to create reports, add data sources, and visualize data using charts. Let's begin. We are going to start with creating a blank report and connecting it to Google Analytics demo account as its data source. So let's select Google Analytics and demo account, master view and connect it. Here we have our dimensions and metrics. Let's add this data source to the report and we're good to go. So remember, our aim today is create a table and categorize days of the week into two groups of weekdays versus weekends. And we want to be able to visualize and analyze sessions, conversion rates, etc., per weekday versus weekend. For this, we first need a table. So let's add one. Now let's add our metrics. I want sessions. It's good to have page views. I want conversion rate. And we also want average order value. Where is it? Yeah. Average order value. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can see all the data. And just a quick tip, if we double click on one of these uh, edges of the columns, it will resize all the columns automatically to show you all the data. Now for dimension, we, we don't want medium we want something uh, closer to the type of the weekday, which we have day of week name, which is something that is available in Google Analytics by default. Okay, we just want to use it as a starting point. So here we go. We have our weekdays, uh, the name of the day of the week, number of sessions, page views, e-commerce conversion rate, and average order value. Now, this is quite close to what we want, but not exactly. Instead of seeing the name of each day separately on its own row, we'd like to have only two rows, the first row being weekday and the second row being weekend. This is not a dimension that is already available in Google Analytics. So to do this, we need to create a calculated field. Calculated fields are fields that their values are evaluated based on some calculations on other fields values. Sounds good. Let's create one. We need to go to resources menu and click on manage added data sources to see our data source and edit it. When we edit our data source, we can add new fields. By clicking on this, oh, we arrive at this interface, which allows us to give our new field a name. I'm going to name it date type or let's say sorry day type and then in the formula section I'm gonna use and introduce you to case when the statement so before I start uh, typing in the formula let's see what do we want to achieve in the table above 
we want to write weekday if it's a Thursday. We want to write weekday if it's a Tuesday or Wednesday or Friday. But if it's Saturday or it's Sunday, we want to write weekend instead. Okay. Now let's see how can we write this logic with a case when formula. Okay, so case when formula, and I write it in uh, uppercase, but it's okay, you can write in lowercase as well. Looks like this. Okay, now it, it is gonna uh, say it's invalid, but it's okay, because I'm just showing you the it, it doesn't allow me to uh, input sample text here. Okay, so I mean, when a condition is met, condition is met, we want to return a result. Okay, let, let's uh, let's allow Data Studio to do its autocomplete. But what I mean is result. Let's see. If we can get rid of that yeah and when another condition is true we want to return another result and we always end it by the word end we can do something else which is else which means if none of these conditions are met, then return another result. Okay, this is the syntax of a case when statement. Now in this case, we do not need else because we only have seven values for weekdays for the name of the day of the week. And we already know for each value we want to return uh, which string or text value. So let's start by writing it. When day of week name equals to, let's start with Monday, then return weekday. Similarly, when it's Tuesday, return weekday. When it's Wednesday, again, return weekday. And also return weekday for Thursday and for Friday. But pasted it twice now but if it's a Saturday return weekend and if it's a Sunday again return weekend let's wait for it to validate our formula it says our formula is valid with this green check mark and now we can save it and click finish. Now let's add a newly created dimension, which is day type to our table. Okay, looks good. For each day of the week that is a weekday, it has returned weekday. And for Sunday and Saturday, it has returned weekend. But we didn't want this, we wanted only two rows. So I need to get rid of the week name as a field and we'll have our table. We can see our sessions, page views, e-commerce conversion rate and average order value per weekday versus per weekend. And we already can see some interesting uh, data in here. So if I was the owner uh, of this shop, I would rather advertise and promote my products on weekdays because the average order value is like five times bigger than uh, average order value on weekends. Now this is going to be a quick tutorial and I uh, cannot show you all the details of case when statement but let's go back to the formula 
because I want to show you some interesting things about it. Again, we go to resource, manage added data sources. It is our data source. Type in to find our field. Click on function. And here is our formula. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the logical operators that you can use in the conditions section of case when statement. So instead of equals, we can use exclamation mark equals, which means does not equal something. Okay. And another thing that we can use, we can use all and write another condition. So all day of week name equals Tuesday. Then it's a weekday. So as you can see in a single line, we have checked for both Monday and, oh, my typo, for both Monday and Tuesday, okay? Now, we can't bring all of these days into one line, but there is a still a better solution. Okay, let's remove line three to line six because I want to bring all weekdays in one line. For this, I'm going to use in. In a case when statement, we can use in and then parentheses. And then inside these parentheses, we can have multiple values separated by a comma. Okay, like Monday and Friday. So the result is the same, but we achieved all the logic that we wanted. Now to combine Saturday and Sunday, for those of you who are a little bit more technical, I'm going to use regular expression. And yes, you can use regular expression in a case when a statement, which you know is powerful and it brings the uh, flexibility of this uh, formula to a whole next level. If you do not know what regular expression means, then it's fine. You can use in as you saw before. We wrote it much more easier in seven lines. It is possible, but I encourage you to go and check out regular expression because uh, it's so much powerful and it comes in handy in many situations. So for this, I'm going to write regexp match and then I'm going to have my field day of week name and then I'm going to have my regular expression in here which in this case is simple Saturday pipe which means or Sunday so basically in the language of regular expression uh, I'm saying that when day of week is Saturday or Sunday. The formula is valid. Let's update it and click finished. Great. Now we have the same table with just two lines of code. If you're curious to know more about the case when statement, please refer to Google Data Studio's documentation. It's easy. Just Google it and hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can utilize the case function within Data Studio. Do you have any other use cases that we haven't thought about? Then let us know down below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to learn more about the functionality of Data Studio, definitely check out our playlist right there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.